Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the taste, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Well, Happy New Year. Today I visit the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store at St. Stan's, and I prepare an easy dish with frozen ravioli. But first, enjoy the unique craftsmanship at Gray Matter Leather. Well, right now we are at the World wide headquarters of Gray Matter Leather. And we are here with the CEO, head artisan, and the man in charge of Gray Matter. But 10 years ago, Tom Dundix, you were a mechanical engineer. Yeah, I was a uh, mechanical engineering. Uh, and uh, uh, 10 years ago, the uh, aphasia, it's ro rotor rotor. Um, here's my here. Uh, dead so due to a stroke yeah yeah it was uh, difficult uh, Chrissy Mosier Dundix I mean savior I mean I, I can't do nothing I can't talk uh, my kids uh, the dog I can do dog that's it I mean I can't spell my first name um, but um, Candace and uh, Susan the spooch therapy uh, worked. It was uh, two years. Uh, thank God they helped me out because uh, it was, uh, I can't talk, I mean, nothing. So every day they helped me, helped me, helped me. Um, but the depressing, I was sleeping, uh, going downhill. I mean, five years ago, I, my uh, girlfriend, uh, Di Capabianca, she she said you need to do something. So uh, I was at the internet, uh, woodworking, uh, iron, uh, nothing, nothing. I said let's do leather. I, I like it. I bought it. <laughs> bad. I mean bad. Look. I mean. <laughs> look. Yeah, this is, I mean. These were his first. Samples. I mean, this wallet is so. St <laughs> this I mean, it's a weapon. But you know what? Your stitching is good. Yeah. I mean, your sizing is correct. Yeah. Your portions. Not really. Not really. <laughs> the Not first. Really. I mean, hey. I mean, it's sweet. Yeah. I, okay. All right. So obviously, you've moved on uh, from well, your down, remedial. Down yeah, yeah, downstairs I was uh, sewing and cutting every day. Uh, and right now it's uh, a year and a half. I, I got I got the program. Uh, this is uh, beautiful it's work. It's good, yeah. This is uh, wonderful. Uh, I mean, these are soft and supple. Right. They make sense. They yeah. no sharp edges. Well, this is. They'll age five years beautifully. ago, five years ago, and <laughs> yes. now, I mean. Well, I'm telling you, the progress is amazing. Right. Ellie Dundix is Tom's daughter, and, you know, your fa according to your father, the family really has helped mm -hmm. with his recovery. And over the last 10 years, what a difference you must mm -hmm. have seen. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, as a kid, you, you look and you're like, oh, you see your parents working and so then you work. And so when, yeah. as a young kid, it's, it, that was halted. Um, it was impressive to see how he kind of figured out this new life. I mean, when he first had the stroke, we were labeling milk bottles for him to say milk and we'd have flashcards like red, blue, green. I mean, going from not even be able to pronounce my name, my brother's name, my sister's name, to him just figuring out on his own time what he was gonna do with this second life that he was given. He's in um, Magnolias on the Green. His products are featured there. Um, Sadie Dental, YM Camera, and Hackett's Pub. So, um, once Quite a diverse group of retailers. Well, we're a diverse <laughs> family. Yes. In all the changes and in all, you know, the rehabilitation, mm -hmm. and, um, is the core personality and that spirit soul 
I mean, is it still there? It's still your dad? Yeah, I mean, anybody who meets him, it's like, or they'll say, I'm I'm Tom Dunnix's daughter. I'm like, oh, is that is that a good or a bad thing? Like, do you know my dad? Is it a good or a bad, like, do you? And so it's, he's, he definitely is, um, he's a personality that needs to be nurtured. And so mm -hmm. if you know him, um, you know to love him, but um, that personality is still there. And if anything, it's gotten better and stronger because, um, it has been, you know, he was a stickler and he was the one to lay the hammer on a lot of things. And now I think he's loosened up with himself. So mm -hmm. he's just, I kind of opened his mind to a lot of different things, um, which is great. And the creativity is there too, so. And usually before he was kind of a math, um, a math guy, very, mm -hmm. very strict with that. But now he's he's gotten creative in, in the his work. There are some really great gifts in here. Mm -hmm. You know, for the cigar smoker, you have a, du a couple different cases. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is sweet. And then coasters. Mm -hmm. What a great idea because leather will absorb the moisture. Mm -hmm. Where I hate when you have like a glass on a coaster and it still runs over mm -hmm. on, on the table. You're like, well, what is the point? Yeah. So these are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a great gift idea. He is a one-man operation. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, he does the cutting, mm -hmm. everything, you yeah. know, from start to finish. Mm -hmm. What kind of timelines are we looking at here? If you check on the website, um, it's you can't order anything online. It's just all the inventory that he has or can make. So he yes. has no backlog inventory other than coasters are really easy to mm -hmm. make. So when you call him, you want an order, he makes it from scratch. Um, he starts the process. He'll give you the timeline and then he can ship, drop it off if you're local. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, it's, and he's really transparent with how long things will take and um, he, he hustles too. So if you needed something, um, he tries to get it done for you. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I'm all about local and my bank is Farmers National Bank. Farmers is the true hometown bank in the Mahoney Valley, standing strong for our local families and businesses since 1887. Farmers is also future focused with a lab branch, interactive teller machines, and best in class mobile mortgage app. We've all learned the value of local relationships, businesses, and communities. Switch to Farmers. Kamara Jewelers is the place to buy an engagement ring because we want a relationship with you that lasts a lifetime. Your commitment with her is the same commitment we have to you. We want to sit down with you and teach you about diamonds so you're educated on what you're buying. We have the largest selection we ever have, which is the largest in the area and at the best value. And if it's not something in our case, we could always custom make it. We can make any dream come true. Get real, get Kamara. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the bump card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, 
That's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. I'm Elizabeth Bernard. For more than 30 years, I've provided our Valley with sound legal advice. My associate Jennifer Rigetti and I will be your legal representatives if you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident. Don't try to handle it yourself. We'll navigate the red tape of dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the obstacles that you'll face. Remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases, and hiring a lawyer does not mean you have to go to court. Call attorney Elizabeth Bernard, local legal experience for more than 30 years. Family owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Well, today you are going to get a brand new go-to recipe. It is my ravioli and lemon sauce, and we are all pressed for time. But you want a nice dinner, and that doesn't taste pre-packaged. I use frozen raviolis, cheese, not meat, because the lemon sauce, uh, it'll kind of fight with the meat. But a great product is uh, Chef O's, made locally right here in Niles, Ohio available everywhere and reasonable, and they cook up in five minutes. So while you're cooking this, you start the sauce. And let me tell you, very basic ingredients. Just for a little heft, I use pancetta. This is a three ounce package. It's already thinly sliced. Get this at Rolly Brothers, and you are good to go. For this recipe, you'll need three to four ounces of thinly sliced pancetta one 16 ounce bag of frozen cheese ravioli or cheese tortellini, six tablespoons of unsalted butter, lemon zest and juice from one lemon, one cup of frozen peas, one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one half cup of Pecorino Romano cheese and more for the table, fresh basil leaves torn for garnish. So I'm bringing some salted water to boil and I've heated a fairly large skillet. And now what I'm gonna do is just take the pancetta, cause this is really for the garnet, the garnish. And I'm just gonna fry this up where it's nice and crispy. When my water's come to a boil, I'm gonna drop these in five minutes. Do them right according to the package directions. It's a little smoky in here. And we've got this nice and crispy. And if you don't have any pancetta, you can also use like thinly sliced bacon. But there's really not that much oil in the pan. So I'm not gonna wipe it out. My raviolis are done. For the sauce, before I drain it, I want to save some of the pasta water, about a cup. So now I'm gonna drain it and then we'll go and start on the sauce. So I've turned the skillet back on to medium high. And now I'm going to melt the butter. And as the butter melts, see the pan's already pretty, it's got a nice seasoning with it, with the fat from the pancetta. You can see the darkness. So now is a good time to add the lemon zest. Make sure we get all of it out of there. because The lemon really provides a great zing. And the juice and the cayenne, because I think cayenne works really well with the lemon. So now this is browned and thickened up a little bit, we're gonna add our peas. Now my trick for frozen peas is run them through a strainer under hot water, and then they'll continue to thaw once you add it to the sauce. And then we'll just gently distribute them throughout the sauce. Now is a good time to add your half 
cup of Romano, or if you prefer Parmesan, and just half of this pasta water. And now we're going to continue to stir it until it gets nice and glossy. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this. I think it needs a little fresh ground pepper. Because remember, we don't really have any salt here. It's from the sauce, or from, I'm sorry, from the cheese, or it is from, you know, the pan dripsing, drippings of the bacon, the pancetta. So I just added a dash of each, and this is ready to get plated. I'm gonna let you help me with the garnet. Let me help myself to some wine okay. first. Okay, well first of all, we're gonna have a Martin Codex. This is an Albarino Cheers. from Spain. Cheers, you have to look each other in the eye or it's bad luck. And uh, we'll, we'll start with the wine. Mm. I think it's nice light with our nice light dish. So would you like I to- I love that. Crumble on. Sure. On there? Uh, yes. How many? And then all of it. Oh, you've already eaten a lot. Well, I've had a few. I mean, there's like 10 slices. It's bacon. How can you leave it sit there? <laughs> you can just use a thin cut bacon. You don't have How's to use that? pancetta. That looks good. Okay. Now. Cheers. Cheers for the taste test. Okay. Now, what did I order? This is ravioli with lemon sauce and other good stuff. But you can also use like a cheese tortellini. There's like spinach, you know, ricotta, ravs. Wow. Mm, isn't that delicious? I love the lemon. It's just one lemon and the zest. That um, bacon has a nice crunch, but mm -hmm. it's also really salty too. It goes well. Yes. Not much salt in this dish. So. You want to be a gourmand at home during the week, 20 minutes? Yes, I do. Just go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. This recipe up there, it is called ravioli with lemon sauce. And you too can have dinner on the table. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for dinner. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Donate now. Gava Camp has a generous family that will match every dollar you donate. Help us build a barrier-free educational camp for our friends with special needs. Visit our website or call for more details. Given is living. I am back with Rude the Dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And get ready, the fall menu is here. Yeah, you know, our fall menu's out now. Like I said, we uh, brought some new things on, some old favorites. So we're just gonna try it out. Along with that, we have some of your favorite local craft beers, the pumpkin beers, the fall beers. Uh, we've extended our hours for football seasons back, some of the local high school games, professional games. So we're all just getting ready for the fall and winter season. And remember, it's never too soon to start thinking about the holidays. You've already got class reunions yes. and showers over in the wine and spirit room. So if you want to book your party, now's a good time to do that. Yeah, we can cater it at your house or cater it here. So if you want to take the night off and come in and let us do the cooking for your parties, we can do that. And if you need any information, of course you go to their Facebook or their website, magictreepubandeatery.com. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering. It has transformed my basement and expanded my family's living space. It's easy to clean, withstands flooding, and will never need replaced. You will love your basement. Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. Call today to save 60% off your new Pebble Stone floor for a limited time only. 
Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Well, I have been so excited to see my buddy Glenise. You know those <laughs> Bodo girls. Her sister is Sherry that has common goods. And when I heard Glenise was out here, I knew I had to come and visit. <laughs> This is amazing. Thank Glenise. you so much. We really appreciate it. I mean, you must be yeah. so excited. We are. The space is great. The location yeah. is great. And now that you're back up and running, because mm -hmm. how long were you shut down during the pandemic? So when COVID first hit, I believe we were shut down for about four or five months. And then in between that, we've just had a couple outbreaks of COVID or pending COVID yes. cases. So we've had to shut down and reopen and all that types of stuff. We're very, very small staff here. We run strictly pretty much off of volunteers. Yeah. So when one goes down, it's kind of like a, do a it domino is. effect. I mean, but you guys yes. are cooking yes. with a gas. So soft surfaces. People yes. are afraid of them, but they need not be because you guys have like a sanitizer bed bug killer, Correct. right? Correct. So we are certified by the state of Ohio to spray any sort of fabric surfaces. Um, the solution kills any sort of bed bugs or any other types of bug on site. Um, we do take mattresses and things like that. Um, we have an awesome voucher program here through our parish conferences and other nonprofits throughout the Mahoning County that assist individuals who are transitioning back into housing. So if that's from the streets or from some sort of institution and they provide the furniture for them and we furnish them a whole new apartment or home. You know, I mean, there are some really nice yes. pieces here and I mean, that is great. Yes. And then you do a delivery too. Correct. For, you know, older or people that just don't have the means 100%. to get these things over there. I mean, I couldn't fit a couch in my car. <laughs> right. But, you know, for like a small fee, you guys will deliver the bigger pieces. 100%. So we do have our delivery service. It's only $20 as long as you live within Youngstown. Um, and we will drop that off for you. And depending on the circumstance, sometimes our amazing volunteers will even go into the home for the individual. Ann Kravitz is the president of the St. Vincent de Paul Society of Mahoning County. Correct. And you were telling me that that involves all the parishes in Mahoning County. Well, uh, we have 17 parishes that um, are basically the, um, it, it's sort of like spokes on a wheel. Mm -hmm. The council is co concentrated downtown and each conference president of those 17 parishes um, is a board member. So we are the governing body for the St. Vincent de Paul Society of Mahoning County. And I really was late to the game getting to their thrift store, but this new location yes. at um, yes. St. Stan's is amazing. Well, I mean, and it's, this is a perfect space for them. And it's easy access from downtown, yes. you know, Boardman Canfield, it's right at the corner of, you know, South Avenue and Williamson. So easy in, easy out, adequate parking. And this, funds your soup kitchen. This all of any proceeds from here goes directly down to our soup kitchen and our pantry. So those are our, our main downtown services and this um, serves the community, you know, providing an opportunity for them to purchase things at a reasonable price while contributing to our costs downtown. And how many volunteers are involved between all, I mean, oh, so many missions? It, it's a huge number and uh, we do, we're, we're in the process of doing our end of the year report, which will come up with totals. Um, we are coming up, we are updating our website, so we're encouraging people to go on our website, the St. Vincent de Paul Society, Mahoney Valley. A lot of that will be posted on there. We're updating this website, should be ready. By, before Thanksgiving. Okay. But um, yes, we have a lot of volunteers. We're always looking for more. Well, on certain days, you just give the clothing away. Correct. So our, every day our clothes are only 99 cents. 
Um, and then we have certain days where clothing is free. Um, we also provide in our hallway a free shelf where we put items that have maybe been sitting on the table a little bit longer and they can give them, like get the items for free. So we're always just trying to give back to the community as much as we can. And this is funds your other, because I was down, we were down at the uh, new uh, food hall. Yes. A couple years ago. Yes. Pre-pandemic. <laughs> and uh, now that's how everything's going to be. Yeah, I know, to. right? Pre and post. <laughs> right. Although we're really not post yet. Um, and this really funds that and the food pantry. Yes. So that's always what we tell our donors, anyone who shops with us, every single penny or every single item that you donate here goes back to supporting our soup kitchen and our food pantry. Um, right now, especially during the pandemic. I know. What, how many have you been serving there? So right now at the dining hall, we're looking at over 4,000 hot meals a month. And then at our food pantry, we're servicing about 200 families with the emergency food boxes. And I love yes. your little Christmas table yes so you've got uh we're, we're getting ready for the holidays yes yeah, so we were so thankful that during the pandemic a lot of people were cleaning out uh -huh. we're bored what do we yeah. do we clean out that closet and we have gotten so many christmas items which has been amazing so we kind of started early here so we might we've as been, well we've been just putting out the tables and putting out all the christmas stuff and it's really been a great time well i just want everybody to understand don't throw stuff away. Nope. I mean, if you have good usable things, yep. you could drop them off here. Yes. And if we're dealing with maybe closing down an estate or something, yeah. you will be able to just go pick it up. Because I know a lot of people are cleaning out their parents' homes and yeah, stuff like 100%. that. Yeah, 100%. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.